to imagine it. Show of hands? Show of hands? Ah, yes, the young man in the lab coat here. That's Carl Nelson. He's the chief scientist at the Imagination Station, which is not open today. They're taking a couple of weeks off here because the kids are getting their daily dose of science in school. Yep. But what do you have here to show us? We have liquid nitrogen, and of we're going to make a giant explosion using liquid nitrogen. Oh, boy. Okay. Now, liquid nitrogen is 320 <laughs> degrees below zero. It's always boiling. It's always changing from a liquid to a gas. We're going to use that property. When it changes from a liquid to a gas, it takes up about 840 times more volume. Okay? I can show you really quick what would happen. If we take a, a test tube here and put some liquid nitrogen in the test tube, okay? So it's boiling. Whoa, it's whoa, bubbling. Whoa. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cap that with this balloon. Okay, little nine inch balloon. And I gotta tell you, there's more nitrogen down here than this balloon could ever hold. Really? Okay, and I can show you, but if we just dump it all in at once and sort of twist it on the top, um, as that nitrogen begins to expand, it's gonna take up more and more space. And eventually the balloon might not be able to contain it all. Great. And in just a second, you can hear that, me. Hear that sound. Man. Okay, and then it explodes. Practical uh, jokes with the scientist. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but now, I want to do that not with a balloon, but with a two-liter bottle. These things can withstand about 300 PSI before they burst. Ooh. Okay? So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to pour liquid nitrogen into here. I've got a bucket filled with some uh, room temperature water. And once I fill this up and seal it, I'm going to drop it in there. The water's going to help warm up the liquid nitrogen really, really quickly. Your only job, Tony, is going to be, once I drop this in, you're going to have the mic down, but you're going to pour these play balls into the container, <laughs> and then we're going to step away. Hmm. We'll try to do a little countdown, see if we can get it right. Okay. And if everything works right, the expanding gas should launch those balls all over the place. Do we have a limited amount of time? How much time are we talking here? Oh, it, it's a matter of seconds. Okay. So, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put the nitrogen in, all right? And, you know, a lot of times when we do this demonstration, people will say, fill up the entire two-liter bottle with nitrogen. And you really don't need to do that, okay? We're going to fill it up about two inches or so near the bottom. That's more than enough nitrogen to ensure that the bottle will burst. So let's see how we're doing here. That, uh, I'll maybe give it just a dash more of nitrogen. And, of course, this is a demonstration you may do in science class, but definitely won't do at home. Don't try it. I'm not going to try this at home. Okay, so I've got the bottle. Once I cap it, you're going to uh, put that down. Yeah. Actually, pass it to me, then pour the play balls in, okay. and then we kind of run away. All right. So are you ready? That's a one take. We've never done this. Let's one take. Try it Here we out. go. I'm going to take the mic. You pick those up. Pour them in. Get them in there quickly. Get them all in the container. All right. Okay. So step back. All right. Now, if we listen, you can kind of hear maybe a crinkling sound inside there. Okay. It's all just going to happen at once. It's, gonna, oh! yeah, it's all going to happen at once. Ah! There we go. Yeah. <laughs> Could not hear the crinkle in there, but isn't that not the coolest thing, right? That was like an accident at the Wonka factory. Yeah. I don't know. If you can rewind your uh, DVR, you can see that that, that 45-gallon bucket leapt off the ground about two feet. It did. So did I. the force of the explosion. Yeah. That's pretty terrific. Well, it's a good thing that you're not open because that would have had everybody running here. It would have. And that is how you imagine it. Ha, ha, ha.